show you a project that solves a real parenting challenge, kids and picnic tables. Children are too small and their arms are too short to comfortably eat at a picnic table. And there's commercial options out there, but they're few and far between. And what does exist is clunky and plastic and truly has no business on a camping trip or at a beer garden. What you're gonna need for this project is a one by 10, a small door hinge, and the screws that come with that door hinge, some rope, and as a later step, I added a carabiner or an S hook. For tools, you can pre-cut your wood or you can use your own miter saw. You'll need a jigsaw, a drill, and sandpaper. So I've pre-cut two one by 10s, and I've cut them to 14 inches. Now I think this is gonna be about the right height assuming that you want to boost your child up probably about six to seven inches above the picnic table. Now you're going to mark your board at seven and a half and nine and a half inches, creating a two inch space. Draw those lines out seven inches and that will be the section you cut out with your jigsaw. Turning a corner in a jigsaw is much easier if you pre-drill holes in the corners. Now do the same thing to your second one by ten. So now you can see right here, I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut this out. And with this V's out, it's gonna slide right onto the picnic bench right here. So when you're cutting with a jigsaw, it's kinda of nice to use a clamp. It just keeps it from wiggling around. And uh, I'm gonna show you kind of what I do. I'm not good at using a jigsaw, I'm, I'm really not. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you how this works. I don't think it's really gonna matter. It's not like I'm cutting out my name and Sanskrit on this. So um, don't worry if you're not good with a jigsaw. Uh, you're, you'll be fine. You really will. Now I have cut these two pieces just like this so they match. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a hinge, uh, which is how it is going to fold up and how they're going to stay together. Um, so the way you're going to do that is you're going to lay them flat together just like this on the okay. table. You're going to measure the center point and then I am going to put the hinge on and I'm going to screw it in. Okay, so we have the two pieces connected here by the hinge in the middle and it works. Uh, it's, so imagine that this is the picnic bench. It's just going to slide on here right like this. So now we need to build the seat. The way I'm gonna build the seat is I'm actually going to drill holes through here, and then I am going to use this rope to make a seat that connects together. Okay, so it's a day later. Um, I've had the opportunity to test this out and think through one problem uh, that I knew I was gonna have, and I think I have a pretty good solution. So here's our final product. Um, I've used some rope here. This worked great for my son. He said it was comfortable. Um, and this is how it goes on. Imagine this is a picnic bench. You're just gonna close it, put it in, then open it. You're good. Now the last thing you're gonna need to do 
is if, you're, if your kid sits in it now, it's actually going to close. It's not going to hurt him, but it's going to close on him. Uh, so he's going to be kind of wedged or she's going to be wedged in between. So what you need to do is you need to make a brace. And I thought about a lot of different options for this. Um, but what I decided was the absolute easiest was take the piece, this middle piece here. So you're just going to use this. I kind of clean mine up a little bit. And what you need to do is when this is completely done and open, you need to measure with this completely open, you need to measure this portion right here. And make sure it's open and it's tight because this part's important. Now, because of the way we cut this, we cut this flat and it's gonna be open so it's gonna be at an angle, it leaves us a great little lip for us to put a brace right in here. So what I did was, I took this inside portion and after measuring it, I cut it to this exact dimension. And now all you have to do is you just take this and you just click it in. That's all you do. Now this will not close. Super easy to pull out and fold right back up. All right, you have to do that part. This is the most important step. Uh, I took it a step further and I actually put a little hole in it. I just used my drill bit. Um, that way what I can do, because you don't wanna lose this piece. You don't wanna take this somewhere and lose it. But uh, I'm just gonna keep this little S-clip or a carabiner right here on this. And so that way everywhere I go I have this little piece because you don't want to lose this piece. This is the most important part. And here's the final product. It works great. And not only does it raise your child up, it also brings them a few inches forward. Enough in fact to play with a truck while mom and dad drink a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching. This has been Lara from The Unprofessional. To see written instructions for this project and other DIY projects, visit my website, theunprofessional.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.